Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I thought I would just kind of bring you along on a normal summer morning I guess, summer day. I'm not really sure if I'm going to film this all day or just morning but it is Thursday right now. Um, I just got my coffee, I'm just sitting out here relaxing, just sipping on it while I wake up. The kids usually take this time to kind of play for a little bit. Um, they've already had breakfast, they ate waffles this morning with chocolate milk and I just made my overnight oats which I don't take overnight to make them. I just make them in the morning and then I usually eat them for around lunchtime if I am trying to do like a fast or something but yeah I'm just going to wake up a little bit. Um, I'd really like to try to get on my exercise bike first thing this morning. I've been trying to work out a little bit more and yeah feeling good. How are y'all doing today? Okay, it's been a few hours since I um, picked up the camera, but I wanted to give you a quick little update. So, it started raining outside, which is a complete bummer because I don't know why this is, but it seems like the days that it rains are the days that I really want to get out of the house and do something fun. <laughs> And I need to start checking the weather because I like plan this whole thing out in my mind of like some things that I want to do and then it starts pouring. <laughs> ah, it's so annoying. Um, but we love rain. Rain makes the grass and the trees and everything grow. So I'm not complaining about the rain. I'm just saying it's just kind of a gloomy day when it was sunny like this morning. Um, but anyway, I'm about to brush my teeth, get my hair put up. I want to play with the kids for a little bit and then I'm going to get on my exercise bike. We're going to do a workout probably as a family because usually if I do a workout in the morning the kids like to work out with me. And then um, I laid out hamburgers for dinner tonight so that's what I'll be making and I think that's it. I wanted to take a quick moment and share with you guys today's sponsor, Skillshare. If you are not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves to learn and wants to explore their creativity to learn new skills. So I've been working with Skillshare for the past two months now, and in just this short amount of time, I have learned so much. I've found so many different classes that interest me. Um, I'm really into anything that has to do with finance, um, bettering my YouTube channel. I found a few videos on how to make better thumbnails, how to be more productive. So there is a very large variety of classes that you can take. This one by Justin Bridges, Modern Money Habits. I've been working through this one for the past couple weeks now. I kind of just hop on whenever I have a free moment. And that is something I also love about Skillshare is the fact that there is no ads and the classes are not crazy long. You can get so much information in a short amount of time, which is very important to me as a busy mom and also a working mom. So I definitely recommend, especially this class by Justin Bridges. I will have all the links below. And just a reminder, the first 1,000 of you to use my link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so so I got my hair put up just in like a low ponytail, um, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I've been using and loving. First off, I wanted to start with lotion because I am someone who does not like wearing lotion. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. It always feels heavy and I just feel like my pores are clogged. I don't know, I just don't like it. And I also don't like the smell of lotion, <laughs> usually. Until I found this one. This is the Palmer, Palmer, Palmer. <laughs> that reminds me of that movie, um, Just Go With It, Palmer. Um, anyway, it's a shea butter formula. It is the Raw Shea Nourish Daily Body Lotion. So here's what it looks like. Let me not move it so you can actually read it. All right there. Um, it was like pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $4, but um, 
a little bit, literally a tiny bit, goes a very, very long way. Um, I wanted to mention that because the first time I used it, I like, you know what I mean, like filled my whole hand up with it. And I could not get it to absorb. It was just so thick. I was like, oh no, what did I do? But later I realized that tiny bit will literally do my whole arm. Like that's it, tiny, tiny bit. And if you use a tiny bit, how many times am I gonna say tiny bit? Anyway, y'all know what I'm saying, use a little bit. Because once I realized that and I could get it to absorb, it was fine. And it does, it's thick. Okay, I wanted to mention that. Um, but once it's dry and it's absorbed, it's not sticky, which is great. See, like my hands aren't sticky and it's kind of working its way in there. It just takes a few minutes to dry. So usually what I do is when I get out of the shower, I will apply it and just kind of let my body like air dry. And then it's great. And I feel like my skin feels so good all day. And it smells like amazing. Like it smells like, you know those girls like at the beach that always smell so good and you happen to like get in line behind one of them and they walk past you and it's like, whew, you just get hit with like that, I don't know, really, really coconut, shea butter smell. It just smells so good to me. And that's how I feel like I've been smelling lately. So I love it. Also, I get lots of questions on what I use to wash my face and my body. I am extremely picky. If you haven't noticed, it took me like, I don't know, my whole life to find a lotion that I like. But pretty much my whole life, I've been using Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. Now, I know there's like mixed reviews on using bar soap on your face. I, I totally get it. I think a lot of companies will be like, oh, don't use that, use X, Y, and Z. But I have noticed with my skin in particular, by the way, I'm just speaking from my experience, that um, like acne, breakout, wash, anything that has any type of crazy ingredients in it, immediately breaks me out. It's almost like it irritates my skin because I am very sensitive. I'm the type of person where using um, fabric softeners, dryer sheets, it irritates me. I will break out all over my body. Like I have a uh, keratosis polaris, I think is how you say it, and it will flare up if I use too many products. So I started using Dove, I say my whole life. I think it's been about, I think I want to say it's been about 10 years now I've been using the Dove Sensitive Skin Bar Soap. My skin looks great um, on my face, my body, everything is just getting much better. And I, I swear it's this, because when I ran out the other day, I had to go two days. I didn't have to, I just didn't feel like going to the store, but I used the kids suave body wash and hair shampoo, tear free stuff. And within two days of using that, I already started to get my bumps back. This is a lifesaver for me. That's what it looks like. This is the only one I will use. I can't use the original. I don't like the scented ones because they smell funny to me, but this is the bomb.com. And then when I finish off like my shower routine with this lotion, I smell good. So I don't have to worry about like not smelling like anything. Of course, as a girl, you want to smell nice. So this lotion, that soap, game changer. Also, my nails, I always get questions about these. Um, when I do wear them, not particularly the blue, but just anytime I put on my fake nails, I always get asked about them. And I buy these, these like Kiss, really inexpensive, these are like $3, and it doesn't come with the glue or the file or anything, so I always have that on hand. But usually that's the ones I use. Or I will use the Kiss acrylic kit. It comes with the nails, the glue, the file, the cuticle pusher, all the things, and they are, Great, and I love this color by the way, it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, that's it, that's how basic I am. <laughs> I don't use anything fancy. I do use like a dry shampoo because my hair is super oily, but I've been trying not to because I heard that the buildup from the dry shampoo can actually cause more damage to your hair. And although you're like soaking up the oils, it's not really helping, it just causes so much uh, buildup. And I feel like my hair, y'all know, what was it, like a month or two ago? Or a month ago? Not even two months. I'm exaggerating. Um, it was like a month ago, I want to say. My hair was falling out so, so bad. To the point where I was, like, really concerned. I went to the doctor. I, like, you asked multiple questions from not only just my doctor, my, like, primary care doctor, but my OBGYN. I was like, hey, look, something's going on. Like, my hair is literally falling out. And... <sighs> 
I'm not trying to diagnose anybody if you've been having hair loss or anything like that, but I'm just speaking from my experience. I believe it was from being sick at the beginning of the year. Y'all know, I don't, I feel like I can't even say the word because I'm pretty sure that YouTube is like not promoting videos that mention it, but I was sick at the beginning of the year and um, I think I know what it was. And I think a mixture of that, my immune system getting low and also not being out in the sun a lot, I was extremely low on vitamin D. And that's what my doctor told me. She's like, start taking this supplement. Um, and sure as crap, once I started getting out in the sun more and I started taking my vitamin, I have felt amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's crazy to me how like such a, <clears throat> like how a random vitamin deficiency can cause like a ripple effect. Also, the fatigue was no joke. I felt extremely exhausted, moody. Um, my hair was falling out. I just, there was a lot that played into effect and I definitely feel like I'm feeling myself again, which feels so good. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that that's all because of the vitamin deficiency. I've also been doing other things like drinking more water, working out, trying to go to bed at a decent time, eating a little healthier. I'm doing multiple things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that that is kind of what I believe was the problem. And I have noticed that my hair is growing back again. Like it's starting to come back. I'm getting baby hairs and my hair has already grown like an inch and a half or not an inch and a half. It's grown about an inch or a half an inch since I cut it. So my hair always has grown fast. I don't know why, but anyway, yeah, I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up over there, baby. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is a good idea. <laughs> Long nails. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, and he went. Whoa. The monster came and got us. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? My name may get me. Okay, so we played in the room for a little while and it was a lot of fun, um, but I'm actually gonna print off some worksheets for them to work on for a little bit while I get the rest of my work done. Um, I'm trying to make sure that they don't forget all the things they learned all year, just kind of keep you know, things in their memory, like writing skills, the alphabet, all the things. So I just usually get on Google and I like search free printable worksheets and then I'll just print them from my computer and I let the kids work on them. No, no particular, um, worksheet I just kind of go with whatever I feel at the moment and they enjoy it so that's what I'm gonna do okay so my plan to print the worksheets is not working I really really wanted to print this worksheet because I think it's great it's a comprehensive worksheet where they read a story and then they have to write out what the story was about and answer the questions so please work maybe this is gonna work <gasps> You guys, it's going, it's printing! Ah! Maybe if I just complain about it for a second, it'll work. Did you bring me your toy? I just want to play. I just want to play. Your honey wants to play now too? Get it, honey bunny. Mom. Pull! Baby. What, baby? Okay, so the worksheets are printing. As soon as those are done, the kids are gonna work on those, but that printer moves slow as nails, so it's gonna be a minute. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make lunch for the kids. I'm also gonna have my oatmeal that I made this morning. And um, what else is happening? Oh, I'm gonna share with you a grocery haul. I got a grocery order in like two days ago and I filmed it. I didn't film like a vlog that day because it was a busy day I was working on the kitchen and stuff so I didn't have time to film but I did want to film that particular haul because I am trying to cut our budget back a lot and I shared with you like 10 dinner ideas breakfast lunch all included into this grocery order and it was $139 from Walmart so I feel like that's really affordable um, so I'm gonna share that with you now okay so here is the grocery order right here all laid out um, I'm gonna start with the dinners and work my way through because this is like where most of the money went was right here um, and this is what I usually start with so whenever I start a grocery order I already think in my mind okay what proteins do I need chicken steak you know ground beef pork chops what am I ordering so I typically start with that and then base the rest of my food off of how much I have left and this is how I stay under a $200 budget usually 
But this week and moving forward, I want to try really hard to stick to a lower budget. Um, so this was $137, which I feel like is pretty affordable for the amount of food I got. Almost 10 dinners here, breakfast and lunch. You can't beat that. So starting here, I got a center cut pork tenderloin. So what I'm going to do with this is slice this up into individual pork chops and make two meals out of this. Um, one night we'll just do like maybe grilled pork chops. One night we'll probably just do like baked with rice, vegetables on the side. I'm not really sure. Just kind of wing it and whatever we feel like having based off of the food that we bought. So got two meals out of that. I got some chicken thighs here and chicken drums. And the reason I did this was because I'm actually going to combine these two together because the kids prefer these. My husband and I like these. So we're probably going to do like two or three of the chicken thighs and then maybe two drumsticks and mix this and this should make at least five meals out of these two packs of chicken and this one was $12.67 and this one was $8.85. I also ordered a pack of like a three pound pack of ground beef however they substituted it for the individual packs it's totally fine I got it for the same price that was good um, but I will be making a taco pie hamburgers and beefy rice which I'm gonna mix with this and it's really good it's a cheap meal you can add in like peppers and onions vegetables whatever you want but we just ground up the ground beef add the rice to it and add like any vegetable you want on the side it's really good um, I also got some cheddar broccoli rice here I will be doing that with the chicken Got two boxes of macaroni and cheese. We're gonna just do two separate meals with this. Maybe one box with the pork chops and one with the chicken. By the way, I know my voice sounds funny, but it's because I just woke up. <laughs> the kids are still sleeping. It's just me. Um, I am so tired. I stayed up too late again. I gotta do better. But anyway, moving on, I got some seasoned collard greens, two cans of corn, two cans of French style green beans, two loaves of white bread. Over here I got some garlic, um, like French bread. I'll be making garlic bread out of this and um, sandwiches for my husband for work. I also got hamburger buns since we are having hamburgers this week. Some Granny Smith apples, bananas, carrots, cucumber, a head of lettuce. In case we do like a chicken Caesar salad or chicken ranch salad, you know, something like that. That will be for that. Um, and snacks too, the kids love these. So I got two lemons, butter, bacon. This will just be for two breakfasts. What I'm gonna do is break it up into two because usually it's just me and the kids here. So yeah, that'll be plenty. Um, I got roast beef and black forest ham for lunch. A whole pack of American cheese because this will be great for obviously sandwiches, um, ham and cheese roll-ups, grilled cheese sandwiches. This will make multiple different lunches. Whole bag of potatoes here. This is a great affordable way to make multiple different sides. We can do like chopped up, diced, seasoned potatoes. We can make mashed potatoes, fries, you name it. You can do a lot with potatoes. So, got those. Oh, we're gonna do a shepherd's pie as well. Did I say that already? I'm gonna do shepherd's pie. Good morning. <laughs> I got sour cream, ketchup, ranch, mayo, and mustard. Hi, baby. Did you sleep good? My ear hurts, that ear hurts a lot. Probably just the way you were sleeping, baby. Um, but I also got some syrup back here, some eggs, pretzels for snacks, some popsicles as like a fun treat for this summer or this week. Like I act like that's gonna last all summer. Those will last maybe two days in this house. <laughs> um, I got some waffles, uh, milk back here, oatmeal, um, fudge rounds, we got some fudge brownies, some goldfish, and peanut butter crackers. And all of this was $137. Thank you. All 
Okay, so here's all of the meats now that are separated. I have the three pounds of ground beef. I ended up being able to make three um, separate meals for the pork chops and five bags of chicken. So that was a awesome deal for all the food that I got. And by the way, I did screen record my entire grocery order so I could include that in this video as well. If you guys would like me to start doing this, let me know so you can really see like a breakdown of the prices. I wouldn't mind sharing at all. A few other things I wanted to mention is that I will have a full meal plan listed down in the description box like I usually do with my grocery orders. I feel like I've only not shared like once or twice, but I try really hard to at least leave like a few basic ideas you could just quickly screenshot. Um, I know what it's like to hit those like dinner ruts, lunch ruts where you don't know like what to make. Trust me, we've all been there. Um, but I hope this grocery order gave you some ideas and especially budget friendly ideas. Okay, so my husband's home from work now. Um, we're gonna be cooking hamburgers in just a few, but before we do that, I'm gonna cut his hair before it gets too late, because um, I like to cut it outside, but when the sun goes out, it's hard to see. So I'm gonna cut his hair real quick, and then I don't, I don't think my son needs his haircut, but my daughter does need a trim, so let me grab our haircut and scissors. <laughs> grab a haircut and scissors. Um, and I'm gonna cut her hair a little bit. I gotta find them though. What in the world did I do with them? Look the other way. I didn't expect you to look at it. Is it record? Yeah, it's recording. Stop! Yeah, I'm gonna cut Daddy's beard. No, we're not. I'm cutting it. No, we're not. I'm trimming. I'm baby. I went this far. There's no point cutting it. Yes, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. All right, we're gonna do three, four on top. How about you cut it? What do you want me to do? Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Oh, I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that Speaking of blowing. <laughs> He's so cute. Blower. I love it. I wish the blower. It's in there, baby. It's somewhere. In the shed? It's probably in that shed, yeah.
Alright, so we got dinner going and while we were waiting on the hamburgers to cook, I went ahead and decided to pull some weeds. This was kind of random. I just, it was driving me crazy. There was one particular weed back here in the back that was like as tall as me. So I went ahead and got that out finally um, and worked on blowing off the patio and cleaning out the pool. All right, so I'm in the car, as you guys can see. <laughs> um, I'm going to Family Dollar really quick to grab some dish soap because we were completely out. It got so low that I ended up adding water to it, shook it up, and it's not enough. So I have to have something to wash the dishes. And I'm out of the detergent that goes in the dishwasher as well. So we're SOL with soap right now. But I'm gonna run and grab some of that and then get some vanilla ice cream because it was something I forgot to add to my grocery order. And um, we're making brownies tonight and my husband likes to have ice cream with his brownie. Which I think is like really odd combination in my opinion. Like I notice that restaurants do it a lot too. I just don't like it with my hot brownie. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do you like cold ice cream on a warm brownie? I think it's like a, I like the cookie brownie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like where you put the cookie and the brownie together and it's like a ooey gooey. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, <laughs> I need to be on the exercise bike not eating brownies, but I'm going to eat a brownie. <laughs> it's all about, uh, what do they call it? Um, what's it called? Why did my mind just go blank? Why does that happen to me when I'm talking? What's it called whenever you're trying to moderation? No, that's not the right word. What am I trying to say? Y'all know what I'm trying to say balance <laughs> it's all about a healthy balance um and that's what i'm focusing on because i don't want to fail with this whole like working out eating healthy journey thing i don't want to deprive myself so i'm gonna eat that brownie tonight and enjoy it and work out later 
because I literally never worked out earlier. I was going to, and then just one thing after another kept happening, and then I kept putting it off and putting it off, and that is the worst thing, in my opinion, for me to do because it happens every single time. If I want to work out first thing in the morning, I have to just get it done. I can't wait till this other thing is done because then it's just a ripple effect. As a mom, you know what I'm talking about. It's like nearly impossible to find time for yourself, for your family, for your job, for whatever it is, you know, personal friend life. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> um, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm going 90 to nothing every single day and yeah. But I'm still sitting in the car and I haven't left and they're probably wondering why I'm still sitting here, but I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, so y'all don't worry. Hold on, hold on. Y'all gonna look up for a second. Give me just a minute. Dude, don't you dare come near my car. Don't you dare, don't you do it. Go. What the heck? Oh, there he is. Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay. No lie. That guy walking up to my car, my defense level went from like zero to 90 really quick. And I just naturally am that way. I'm a very just alert on guard person. And it's just because I've always been taught that way. I've watched way too many crime shows, way too many way too much TV and movies. Um, and that is a problem because it's like in my head all the time. And I immediately like, I'll see like a scenario. Please tell me I'm not the only woman who does this. <laughs> Especially when I'm with my kids, like if a sit like a situation happens, I immediately think of like a storyline that I've seen before. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like that movie. Like get out of this situation. <laughs> so then I'm, I just immediately get on defense mode. I'm still nice and respectful. I'm not gonna treat anybody rudely, but um, yeah, I get my butt out of the way quick and, you know, move my hiney. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I was like, ooh, let me get out of here. And what was crazy is like the lady in front of me was like not going. So I ended up honking the horn. I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, what are you doing? It's like, I honestly feel like she was watching him. Um, and I think she was so focused on him and not going. And I, I mean, honestly, I was watching him too, but I was still thinking like, okay, how am I gonna get out of this situation if he does try to come up to my car? And I've seen people, I know this is dramatic, but I'm, this is my brain. I've seen people that have been under the influence before on videos, like smash a car window, and my windows obviously are up, my doors are locked, but still, like, if he wanted to get in this car, he probably could get in this car. Uh, <laughs> and that's like what was going through my mind, so I hightailed it. But anyway, I'm here now. I'm gonna get out, get my ice cream and my dish detergent, and head home. We're gonna have some brownies, ice cream, and wash my dishes. Okay. So I'm back home now and before the sun goes completely down, I thought I would, or before the sun went down, but I'm just saying, before it gets super dark, I thought I would give you a haul on the things that I got. I ended up finding this super cute uh, MTV t-shirt. It was $9 um, and I feel like that's so cheap for a graphic tee like this because y'all know like these boutiques are like selling t-shirts super expensive. Like I'm all for it. Like it, you know, run your business, make your money, honey, do what you gotta do. But I know that I am just such a stickler when it comes to clothing budget. I, I'm i the clearance type of girl. Like I'm gonna go straight to the clearance first and I'm gonna go to Bell's Outlet, discounted stores, thrift stores before I buy boutique clothing. Just because like, first of all, I can't like justify buying $60, $70 pants or new shorts. Like I just can't, like it's just not in my no, I think this is another reason why I have more money to spend on other things like decor. I would rather spend my money on decor, I'm going to be honest, than clothing. I would rather wear the same shirt for the rest of my life and buy new decor than buy new clothes. But that's just me. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but that's me. Um, but anyway, I got this. I thought it was super cute. It was $9. I also got some new nails. As you can see, these are just my favorite brand, the Kiss brand. I have them on now. And you know what's funny is this hand's a little bit longer than this hand, only because I was kind of like in a hurry when I was doing my nails. But I kind of like it. I kind of like that this hand is long and like dainty, and then this hand's like a little bit more, because this is my right hand. This is the hand I use a lot. So I need my nails to be short. But anyway, I got new ones. These are neon orange. This color is called neon holic <laughs> and this one is called maze so that's the colors in the kiss brand and these are from family dollar by the way i also got dish soap and um dishwasher detergent and two containers for the kids 
um, like winter clothes because I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I keep rewashing jackets and blankets. So what I'm going to do is like pack up all their like cozy blankets that we usually use in the winter time and their jackets that are going to fit them next year pack all that away in their closet so that way I'm not like rewashing the same thing over and over again like every single week <laughs> for no reason because they haven't wore it like it just ends up in the dirty clothes hamper or like on the floor and then it gets dog hair on it and then it has to be washed so I'm packing it up so I don't have to do that because we all know I've been on a struggle bus with laundry for the past eh, my whole life <laughs> but I'm gonna get this stuff unloaded thank you guys for hanging out with me today I'm gonna let you guys go I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet The morning's just begun